Piracy in the seas remains a threat, even though international patrols have been stepped up. Most recently, the Republic of Singapore Air Force sent a maritime patrol plane to the Gulf of Aden, one of world's major shipping routes, to beef up patrols against piracy. Despite this, there is still a two percent chance of vessels passing through the Gulf of Aden falling prey to pirates. In such an attack, the HMS anti-piracy kit will come in handy. Put together by Singaporean ship supplier HMS Far East, this box comes with a protection mask, flashlights, and fire extinguisher, and can be used by the victims of such an attack. The basic concept is to have、uh, to shut down the vessel and then lie low and communicate. So、uh, we have developed a, a citadel kit, which gives them all the basic necessities from basic food,、uh, lamps,、um, also masks to protect them against pirates' attacks when they try to put the room on fire,、uh, and even going up to playing cards to spend their time because they are under immense stress in that situation. This product and more were on display at the Sea Asia 2011 conference on Tuesday at Marina Bay Sands. Sea Asia 2011 is back for the third time in Singapore, with over 12,000 professionals participating in the conference. Now, although the maritime industry has been hit by a number of events such as the economic recession and the Japan quake, the outlook for the long term remains positive, particularly in Asia, says Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chee Hien. Deputy Prime Minister Teo Chee Hien was guest of honor at the three-day conference, which brings together shipping professionals from all over the world, including Asia. Indeed, Asia is a big player in the maritime industry, with eight in ten of the world's top container ports from Asia. Also, 85 percent of the world's shipbuilding orders are handled by Asian shipyards. Today, Singapore is home to about 110 major shipping groups and over 5,000. Maritime companies. The Singapore government is making a big push in productivity, and recently committed two billion Singapore dollars from the National Productivity Fund to enhance productivity across all sectors of the economy, including the maritime sector. Maritime companies can also tap on the maritime and port authority of Singapore's 50 million dollar maritime cluster fund to support training and career development of their staff. Some Singaporean companies have already started innovating by providing competitive products. For example, Kapil Singh Marine from Singapore has developed a ship that breaks ice that is up to 1.7 meters high. The Towboy is the first such model in Asia and first entered the market in 2008. As the name suggests, it's an icebreaker, so it's used to clear up the surrounding ice for other vessels such as cargo vessels, platform supply vessels to move into move as a convoy into the region to do what they're supposed to do over there. Another gadget is a water filter that cleans out wastewater within the ship before releasing it into the sea. There are two features of this product. Firstly, it uses UV light to kill bacteria and other organisms, and secondly, it is eco-friendly as it uses minimal power. With this system,、uh, you could、uh, treat the ballast water by uptake and before discharge to.、Um Deactivate and filtrate all the organisms.、Uh, what means、um, IMO?、Uh, they made a kind of standard called D2 standard. According to this standard, we、uh, treat the ballast water with this system. The Sea Asia 2011 runs from 12 to 14 April at the Marina Bay Sands Convention Center.